hell of a way to start a video. All right, YouTube, we're back here to talk about Tokyo Game Show. We got a couple updates today in regards to the event coming on September 26th, I think, to the 29th. They, I believe from what I read that the TGS website just went live today because there's still aspects of it that you can't even click on where it just says, like, coming soon and, like, they're grayed out. You can't even click on them. They don't link to anything or whatever. Um, the main things that we're interested in when it comes to this upcoming event is, for one, Square Enix is confirmed to be there, which I feel like Square Enix has been at TGS every year for as long as I can remember. So it's not really a surprise. It's obviously exciting. We're obviously interested in any sort of events that Square Enix is going to be at. As of July 4th, 731 exhibitors, including 448 from Japan and 283 from overseas, will be participating in Tokyo Game Show 2024. The event will be held on the largest ever scale and will host a total of 3,190 exhibition booths, exceeding last year's record in Tokyo Game Show history. The official website will reveal the list of exhibitors, ticket information, programs hosted by organizers, and more. I think because it's so early, we still don't really know the schedule yet. Like, we don't know exactly when and what day Square Enix is going to be there. Maybe they're going to be there all the days. I don't know exactly. They're there in multiple capacities, though. They are there in the merchandise and sell area. They're there in the family game area and then also the general exhibition area. And I'm not even sure if, like, Square Enix is going to have, like, a presentation, a showcase, or whatever here. Obviously, there's a lot of booths, as mentioned in that description there. Um, hopefully, they do. I assume they're going to. I think they have had some level of a presentation at pretty much every Tokyo game show. I don't know what they're going to show. I don't really know what's on the horizon. We don't have any major games that I'm aware of, other than potentially the 9 remake and the Kingdom Hearts 4 Dragon Quest 12, right? The ones we always kind of talk about. Besides those particular games, I don't really know what they would show here if they want to give off, like, a major reveal of sorts. Especially since we already have Dawn Trail, and by the time this event happens, Dawn Trail will be a few months old, right? It's like kind of the biggest release besides Rebirth this year. Like, I don't know what they're going to show off for the future. Because the 9 remake is exciting, but we don't even really know what the 9 remake is, right? If it's meant to be this, like, massive undertaking, this big project that's hopefully going to make them a shit ton of money, or if it's just like a, you know, kind of a visual remaster type of thing, I don't entirely know. And you got to assume they want to show off, like, the future of Square Enix, right? And you've got to have some big games here and there, right? Especially for, like, investors, because obviously Square Enix isn't making the kind of money that they normally would or should or whatever that you know, games haven't been as successful as they want them to be and whatever and so you gotta imagine you want to show off like your big releases and you know kingdom hearts 4 and dragon quest 12 i thought could be some pretty good reveals i don't know if they're going to do it or not because i don't know how far out those games are but maybe now besides square Enix, which is just kind of what we're focused on the other major thing from this tgs lineup that was announced today is that sony's going to be there it'll be the first time that sony's been a part of tgs in like five years dude so that's like pre- ff7 remake actually you know that's actually where we would have got one of the trailers for remake was tgs 2019 that's the last time they've been a part of tgs they're also gonna be there in like a physical capacity right they're gonna have a booth or whatever which uh people have talked about how they have they've kind of shied away from that i don't know how long they've been kind of doing that where they're just not really at game events physically like they obviously have been doing like their state of plays and their you know playstation showcases online and stuff so it's got to make you think that they have something to show off, right? Uh, if they're coming back to, like, TGS for the first time in, like, five years, if they're there physically finally after how long, however long they've been doing, like, digital stuff only. A lot of people were thinking, like, PS5 Pro. This makes a lot of sense. That's something that I have absolutely zero interest in. You know, I don't really care about, like, the enhanced versions of consoles. Dude, as long as my PS5 can play the games, that's all I give a shit about, right? I never bought, like, the enhanced, like, Xbox One or I don't a PS4 Pro or anything like that. That's cool. That's what you're into or whatever. It's just not my thing. And not so long ago, with, you know, Sony being at this event and also Square Enix being at the event, that would be potential for, like, two different opportunities for them to, like, reveal shit, I guess, in regards to Square Enix. But we know now that, you know, Square Enix is willing to move away from exclusivity. That doesn't mean that they can't have things shown on their behalf because of PlayStation or because of Sony. That could still happen, of course, and games could still maybe be timed exclusives. I don't know entirely. But, you know, before, obviously, them announcing they want to go multi-platform, it, it would have been a little more exciting whenever we see, like, PlayStation and, you know, Square Enix at events. Now, in terms of, like, PlayStation exclusives and stuff like that that are on the horizon, I don't really keep up with that shit. I don't really care that much about that stuff. Um, but I know every time there's, like, PlayStation event, people will talk about the same shit. You know, they want Ghost of Tsushima 2, and they want, like, Bloodborne PC. I see that all the goddamn time. Or at the very least, like, uh, Bloodborne, you know, remaster or remake for PS5 or whatever. Something along those lines. They want something for Bloodborne, which I totally understand. It's a game that I love, and in general, I love the FromSoft games. I just fucking suck at them. I've tried them over the years. You know, I put a little bit of time into Dark Souls 2, because it was like a free game on 360 at one point years ago. And then I have uh, Bloodborne, and I've played through it a little bit. I beat the first, like, couple of bosses or so. But I'm just not very good at those kinds of games. I, I actually recently reinstalled Bloodborne because I want to give it another shot. It's, it's a genre of game that I want to be good at that I don't know if I have it in me to be good at them. I do think I have, like, the skill to be decent at those kinds of games, but I just get so fucking frustrated in my older age these days where, like, if I can't beat a boss in, like, a couple of tries, I'm just like, I don't want to fucking play this shit. I don't want to... I'm the kind of person that wants to spend necessarily, like, hours if it comes to that to beat a particular boss. I'm just like, I'd rather be playing a different game. 
Besides that shit, there's the exclusives that I'm at least aware of, like Death Training 2 and the Silent Hill games, which I, I guess I don't know if all the Silent Hill games are going to be PlayStation exclusive or not. But we already got, like, the SH2 release date, but I guess there could be, like, another trailer there, or maybe the game's playable at Tokyo Game Show, I don't know. And then I don't know if you had any updates on the other Silent Hill games, like Silent Hill F, which yeah, that's a franchise I'm looking forward to that I'm interested in. Uh, SH2 remakes looking kind of good. I, I'm really curious about the Silent Hill F or whatever it was, and I don't remember what the other games are, but, you know, I'm still interested in that franchise. Maybe Konami's not the most trustworthy. You know, a lot of the Silent Hill games are... More of them are bad than the ones that are good. We'll say that. Plus, as a Yu-Gi-Oh player for a lot of my life, I've been fucked by Konami more than I can count. There's also the Wolverine game coming from Insomniac that I'm a little interested in. Um, there was some, like, leaked gameplay a little while back that I think was, like, alpha footage, so it looked kind of janky. But I'm sure the finalized game will be great. And I do love the character of Wolverine, and those games are fun to play, the Spider-Man games. So that's something I'm a little interested in as well, I guess. This is pretty much the video, my dudes. We'll do some sort of follow-up, I'm sure, at some point, if there's any announcements of, like, Square Enix having, for sure, like, a showcase, and, like, what day and time that might be, or whatever. I just hope that if they do have a presentation, they show off something cool, whether that's the 9 remake, which is, like, the main focus for me, or Kingdom Hearts 4 or Dragon Quest 12, right? You gotta have some sort of major reveal to get, like, fans excited, but also get investors excited, right? Because... Obviously, 16 didn't do as good as they wanted it to, and, like, you know, Rebirth obviously isn't doing, like, crazy numbers. It's not necessarily underperforming, but just not doing, like, crazy numbers. So, they gotta have, like, some other major reveals, too, right? You gotta think. And actually, speaking of those games, I guess we do have the PC versions of them potentially being announced at TGS, if not sooner. Because, like, uh, at this point, 16's already more than a year old, and by the time TGS happens, it'll be a year and a couple months. And FF7 Rebirth, I think the announced exclusivity period was only till like, May 29th. So, I guess, technically, at any point, if they wanted to, they could announce the PC version of FF7 Rebirth. And it could be a TGS, if not sooner. But, of course, pass off to you guys with Tokyo Game Show coming up in a couple months. What are you wanting to see? What are you hoping to see? What are you expecting? So on and so forth. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, YT. That's it. Bye. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. And nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that like old train. We in here like Rogaine or leave it like Cobain.